So you agree a man should protect and provide for a woman? Uh, absolutely. Okay, so you agree if you were walking down the street with a woman, you'd be responsible with her safety? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you another question, Pierce. Let's say your woman decided she wanted to take a nice little walk through the south side of Chicago at 2 a.m. and she wanted you to go with her and you were responsible for fighting and dying on the spot if she was attacked. Mm. Don't you think you would say to her, no, we're not going out right now, it's not safe? Yes. Okay, so you'd have authority to make the decision. So no, I wouldn't. So I would be, say, so I don't agree. think you should. If she decides to, it's her own volition. If she decides, you're not going to stop her. I have her. no power to stop her. Completely. But you think you do? No, I don't think I have power you to stop her. You do. No, I think I have power to make the decision. I think, no, that's not sensible. So if you have the power to make the decision, you have the power to stop her. Uh, no, because and it's that's you. where we differ. And that's why I think it's interesting about you. I don't think you really think through what you're saying. I think through what I'm saying because what, so carefully. Yeah, but Andrew, what you literally just said is that you have the power to stop no, her. No, I said I don't have the power to stop her. I'm not going to lock her in the room. I'm saying that. So if she a, wants to go on her own. Then she's going to go.